What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the show. The 501, this is another chance for us to play the perfect game challenge. So, here we go. Seattle Mariners versus the Houston Astros. Uh, I figured that I'd try it with this team because the Houston Astros are trash. You know, like they're one of the worst teams in the league. So, I figured that I'd try it with them. Alright, yes, so let's start. So, a couple things I want to talk about in this video, you guys, while I try this is um, one, I want to talk about what I'm going to do if I hit 1,000 subscribers because that's amazing. And throw around some ideas, you guys can post comments, what you guys think I should do. And also, I want to talk about where I'm going to be going in the upcoming weeks in terms of where I'm going to head to talk about, uh, to, to interview players. Because it was such an amazing experience um, doing that. That was amazing. Carlos Correa was crazy. Like, I actually got to talk to the number one draft pick from 2012. That was insane. It blew my mind. Like... If, it's great, like, if you guys were there, you guys would see that, like, literally I was cheesing the whole time. Like, I was, it, I think there was, like, one time in the video where you could hear me, like, absolutely lose my shit. <laughs> like, Marcos was over there, like, dude, calm down, man, you gotta be cool. I'm like, man, I'm sorry, man, I just can't believe this is happening. So it was really cool that that ended up happening. Um, and, uh... And the were bands were great, you know, uh, in, in terms of help catering to all of our needs, it was it was absolutely amazing. So, so that was that was perfect. Um, we wanted to talk to the players, uh, not the players, the fans, you know, to try to get that aspect of it, because I think the fans really of these minor league teams are, I don't want to say more um, energetic than pro, but they follow the game more, which is kind of crazy because most of these uh, minor league teams are located in areas where you where there's not a major league team, right? So they have to kind of pull themselves into a team, whatever it is, so they kind of get behind the minor league team. I guess it makes sense, in a way. Um, so, uh, yeah, somebody in the comments in the last Perfect Game Challenge said that I should pitch a high fastball. So I will try that in this one. Joe Saunders is going to be the guy that I'm going to be using in this game as I get a hit. So now the other guy's perfect game is off of the table. Um, and he tried to throw me out of first, which was insulting. Freaking insulting. All right, Morales. Gosh, this guy was like a killer on the Angels against the A's. So I'm glad that he's um, on a sucky team now and he won't pop, maybe be as good. I don't know. I mean, here he got into a dull play, so uh, that was kind of bad. Um, in terms of the... Oh, I also want to talk about the t-shirts, you guys. In terms of the t-shirts, uh, Lyrical Persuasion, yeah, they're not ready yet, um, but they're coming. They just need to be printed because we want to get them to look real good. So we want to make sure that they're all good and ready to go and that you don't get, like, some crap product or anything like that. And remember... That if you guys want a t-shirt, it's cheap, it's like 15 bucks, and all you have to do is just hit me up with a message, personal message. If you don't know how to do that, it's pretty simple. Um, you just go to compose message, and then you write in living from 510, all lowercase, and I'll get the message. Or you can hit me up on Facebook and say, yo, living man, I want a shirt. And I'll be like, I dog, 15 bucks. And then you'd be like, oh, come on, man, I want it for free. And I'd be like, dude, no. And they'd be like, come on. And I'd be like, all right. And I'll give it to you for free. I mean, I don't know what that's... I mean, maybe. I don't know, you know. Because I'm going to have a lot, of, a lot of them lying around, you know. Because once these, once these t-shirts show up, that's literally all I'm going to be wearing. I'm not even going to be wearing any pants. <laughs> it is so cool. Man, the t-shirts are so amazing. That's it. That, that's it's real cool. All right. So now let's see what Altuve is bad at. Curveballs. You got a curve? And you want me to throw a two-seamer? Where? There? That's dangerous, bruh. Yeah, that's more like it, you know. Let's make him. Let's see if he'll chase this. Now, that should go out of the zone. Got him. All right, so now that Altuve is gone, I feel like I have a pretty good shot at getting the no-hitter because everyone else is trash. <laughs> oh, the Astros. Who's worse, the Astros? Oh, my gosh. Or my league team. Like, this team is incredibly bad. They they have not, like, oh, my gosh. When I watched them play the A's uh, this past week, I think. I don't know. It's all a blur. 
it was insane. Like I was like, wow, this team, this team doesn't know what they're doing. They can't hit, they can't pitch, and it's so unfortunate because Bo Porter, the manager, is incredible. You know, he's one of my favorite managers in the world, uh, just because of his his style and his demeanor. You know, he has that. His style is basically he's bringing over football tactics to baseball, so he doesn't put up with any crap, and he has these great motivational speeches. So I I, I actually really like the guy. You know, um, it could be his voice too. He has that voice that is like, look, listen to me, I'm going to slap you aside the head. And then, you know, that's why you see people with bruises, because they started mouthing off to Bo Porter. And he was like, look, dude, I told you once, I'm not going to tell you, slap. And it's a slap. It got me a little bit nervous there, but we're through one, which is cool. All right. Uh, so let's talk about the thousand subscribers. Um... Uh, now, a couple ideas that I threw on my Facebook as we get on the board. A couple ideas that I threw on my Facebook are, one, giving away a free t-shirt again. But, I mean, t-shirts are more for, like, every time I hit 100, even though I kind of only did it for 600, and now we're at 900. So it was, like, three t-shirts to give away. But with that logic, but at the same time, I kind of did that so fast that I think that maybe I'll save it for, like, Maybe I'll give away like 15 t-shirts or something like that. Okay, that's not going to happen because that's a lot. But you know what I mean? It seems like it's kind of losing its value. So I'm trying to think of something. And then an idea popped in my head of maybe, um, you know, because I know that I do have a lot of baseball fans. You guys are baseball fans. This is a baseball channel. Um, maybe when we go to like Chicago or when we go to, I know that I have some people in Boston um, later this summer, I may be going up to Boston and Rochester, Buffalo, those areas. I don't know if those are close. My aunt lives in Rochester. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, maybe going over there. So I was thinking that maybe it would be pretty cool to bring um, one or two of my subscribers along with me while I interview some of the players. You know, I mean, you could kind of see how me and Marcos do it. You can, you can possibly get the chance to interview them. I mean, there may be a, a situation where... I just hand you the mic and say, look, dude, go go, go do it. You know, go talk to this guy. So I think that that would be pretty cool possibly to do, to bring you guys along. You guys could go in the back of the scenes kind of thing. That would be pretty cool. Um, and then another one was just, you know, me, Marcos, um, and possibly, I don't know, maybe this, oh, if we end up in California at some point, then this will happen. And if, I know that I do have some people who, live in the bay area but uh but go and do a baseball game you know like maybe getting like six six people together and just go into a baseball game and you can hang out with me you can you know do whatever and i think that'd be pretty cool um we could just spend the whole day just talking baseball you know because literally i could talk baseball for like 20 hours you know straight and then the four hours of sleeping would be me mumbling about how barry bonds is the best player in the world and he should go in the hall of fame don't get me started on that <laughs> do not get me started on that so um, yeah you know those are some ideas that I'm throwing around and then someone else uh, alright good good tier he's gonna get there um, someone else had this crazy idea like that I should be that I should give away a game um, and I don't know about all that <laughs> I don't know about all that um, but yeah write in the comments let me know what you think I should do when we do hit a thousand because um, I am very, very positive that we will, and it's amazing um, the amount of the, the growth that I've had um, in terms of going from like what was I at like 680 to now 920 something like that, and literally it's all the way the YouTube works is it's all seriously based on likes and shares and favorites. So you guys are making it possible for me to grow, and that's why I really want to give something back. Um, and I know that everyone says this, wow, it's all based on you guys, but I mean, in my um, situation, it really is, because one of the differences that I do is I don't, I've, I've done two dual comms in my career on YouTube, and one of them was with Dunbar Snack Bar, who I have mad respect for, um, who has... Uh, you know, you guys know who he is. If you don't, just Google him or whatever, and you'll find him. But I did one with him, and we talked about the A's. Um, and then I did another one with Franchise City. 
and that was amazing that was cool but besides that I haven't really posted any videos on any other channels like sports gaming universe or um, any other of those community channels um, and really because I don't feel like I feel like if I were to do that will people be subscribing to me because I posted on their channel or would they be like scouting to me because they actually thought that my content was good you know what I mean so that's my idea behind it I truly feel like the people who are subscribed to me subscribed to me just because they found my video and they were like yo this dude is pretty cool I want to give him a shot and uh, and let's just see what he has to offer so that's the biggest difference I didn't really get on anyone else's coattails you know and I'm not saying that that's not a bad way to grow your channel you know I'm just saying that that's not the way that I do it um, is it wrong you know do I feel like I'm kind of moving at a slower pace than other people sure you know but I feel like um, I would rather move at a slower pace and really kind of discover um, what I'm gonna do and what I would like to do on YouTube and what I eventually want to do um, as opposed to possibly um, blowing up so fast and then kind of having to figure out where I really want to go you know I mean there were times in the beginning of my YouTube career where I would just put out random games I mean you guys who have been here since the beginning you guys know exactly what I'm talking about you know and uh, were they the best no they were terrible I would put out let's plays I put out halo a couple times oh, those are pretty funny I put out Madden my first video ever on YouTube was a FIFA video and it was probably the worst video I've ever made in my life it was and I thought I was so good, you know, and if you guys go to my videos and you look at the first video that I ever made, it was really bad. But I thought I was the crap, you know, I thought I was the boss of everything. And I had this, and I said, like, the greatest YouTuber of all time. And then, like, the Living with 510 would pop up and I'd be like, Living with 510. And that was my intro. And it was, like, the stupidest thing in the world. <laughs> I was like. But I thought I was the shit, though, you know, real talk I did, but, um, I mean, and, and I really had to determine through my YouTube career what I really wanted to do, you know, that I want to be a guy who would play um, all the sports games, I went through that phase as well, where I did Madden, I did FIFA, then I had Halo in there, um, but then I was kind of like, you know, what, what games do I really play on a consistent basis, you know, what games do I love to talk about, what games do I love to interact with you guys with, um, if I were to sit down and I had Madden, FIFA, and MLB in front of me, which game would I pop in first? And I'm not talking about playing online. People are talking about which game would I play by myself because most YouTube videos are you sitting down and playing by yourself, right? It had to be baseball. I've been a baseball fan since I could breathe. Um, I mean, it, that's, that's what it was, you know? I mean, and I said this in my other videos, but that's really just how my mom raised me, you know? Um, she would always take me to the A's games. It was like a dollar to get in, you know, and after the seventh inning, you could get in for free, you know, so I would always go and watch Dennis Eckersley close the games out. I would watch, um, uh, uh, what's that dude's name? Oh my gosh, how am I blanking on this? Ricky Henderson, steal bases, you know, and, uh, I would, like me and Dawkins would always go and we'd watch, uh, you know, Miguel Tejada hit a winning home run, or Eric Chavez with his gold glove plays, or Johnny Damon, and I mean, that whole winning streak, you know, I mean, that was right when I was there. Um, so, baseball was always my first love, and that's really what my channel has grown up to be, is just baseball, and talking to you guys online, getting into arguments about who's better, you know, getting into arguments about why the Yankees suck. Uh, get into arguments about why, you know, Billy Bean may be one of the best GMs in the world. I'm not going into that. Um, but it's that that's really what I've come to come to love is, um, you know, interacting with you guys and, and just making entertaining videos. And uh, I understand that I'm not putting out as many videos as I would, um, as I used to. But because uh, my player in the franchise videos, I really want to be perfect. And I said this before. Um, it's just... That's really what I want. Um, I, I want to make is is those where. Oh my gosh, he blew it! 
Oh, I didn't focus. I gave him something that he could hit, and the game is over. But yeah, that that's literally what I wanted to do was just make. Ah, got to the third. Damn it! Should we just keep playing? Right? I mean, because I kind of want to finish my thought. All right. Well, we'll just keep playing until you know, until until whatever. So, um, I uh, yeah, and, and and that's really what I wanted my channel to be like, like was baseball. So eventually, it just got to be baseball, and now because of you guys, um. I can have pride in what I've done, and I can say, hey, you know what? When I, when I send these emails out to these teams, this is literally what I'm saying verbatim, is, look, I have a YouTube channel, I have a baseball YouTube channel, and I have a following of baseball slash sports fans, and it would be, and what we're trying to do is trying to transition and blur, blur the line between baseball gaming and baseball reality, you know? And I think it would be pretty cool if I go there interview some of your t prospects and some of them have said oh yeah man that's a great idea you know definitely come and and, and we'll accommodate you and all that stuff some of them have said you know youtube isn't really something that we take seriously um but i mean just the fact that i have confidence to say um you know what i i do have a youtube channel and i do make youtube videos and i do have a following of fans who who who, who enjoy sports and i think that it would be cool to to show them that is is amazing Ugh, oh, just an easy ground ball. I knew it was going to be one, too. Like, ugh, oh, that single just messed everything up. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to end it here. It's a good place to end it. But you guys are absolutely amazing. You guys are always amazing. And I'm going to Indiana as well as um, Illinois and Iowa. So those are going to be pretty cool. I can't wait to go there. And I can't wait to, you know, check it out. So it's going to be... It's going to be nice. It's going to be real nice. Um, and if you're in the area, you know, hit me up. And we will maybe get you some press passes. And, you know, you never know. You may end up in the video. So it, it, it'll be pretty cool. But, again, you guys have made it possible. You guys have given me the confidence to go out there and do this. And I haven't told that many people this, but my goal at the end of this year is to have interviewed a major baseball player. So that's my goal, like a major type Ryan, Ryan Braun type guy. Um, so hopefully that works out. It's it's really all thanks to you guys. You guys are sharing. You guys are likes. You guys support has made this possible. Um, and without you guys, it would I w I would be nothing. You know, I mean that's just the bottom line. Is that you know without you guys watching my videos, I I would be you know just a random guy doing it. So uh, the fact that I didn't that I'm I'm kind of doing it myself and doing it with you guys is something to be said I think you know it proves that that anyone can get it done if you just keep doing what you're doing and if you just stay true to yourself you know so so that's really that's really what it is all right that's it um like I said I'm out of here definitely check out my other videos and if you want to be in the Google Hangout that's this Friday at 4 p.m. uh central time 5 p.m. Uh, eastern time and 2 p.m. Pacific time, and I think it's some England time, like 1 a.m. England time. I'm not sure. Whatever. I made that up. Go Google the time converter or whatever. All right. But that's it. Like I said, uh, if you want to be in the Google Hangout, let me know. We're always up. There's going to be five, six people there this time. It's going to be insane. It's going to be fun, though. But that's it. I'm going to I'm out.